Well, we've got a lot of news to go over, and so we're going to start our first annual, I don't know about annual, but our first Blizzard with Biscuits breakfast session with Hog. Let's go on forward. Come on, you piece of junk. It's Hog, baby. So as we all know, Microsoft is laying off almost 2,000 employees out of their game area. And uh, a lot of them are coming from Blizzard, Activision, King, a couple other ones they acquired. Um, this is not surprising news to me. It should not be surprising news to y'all either. And the reason I say that is this is very typical of a merger. Uh, usually when a big company acquires a company that's not doing well, and it's usually the reason for an acquisition, not all the time. Okay, but usually the acquired company is not doing well. It's only good business for the company that's actually buying the shitty company to put everything under a microscope, look everything real close and see how everything's going. So if we look back a few months, Mike himself actually said that I'm real bad with names in this industry. I don't know a lot of guys' names, so forgive me, but whoever the head of Microsoft Gaming is told Mike, Run your studio. Run your studio. Well, of course he told him to run a studio. When you buy a company, you're going to go through an observation time. You're going to observe what's going on with that company. Why is that company not doing what it's supposed to do? Or why is it not living up to the expectations of the consumer base or whatever the problem is? You got to figure that out. And majority of the time, it's staff. That's usually what does it. And we all know, I mean... Look at how much we rip on uh, Malignant Tunnel Rod. I really hope he's one of the ones that's in this list. Now, they did say 1900. They did not specify who's being laid off. Okay, so it could be customer service reps. It could be, you know, game designers. I highly doubt that. Um, but it is spread across all of Activision, Blizzard, King, and Xbox gaming. It's not just Blizzard. But... This is normal trimming of the fat. Y'all, this is good for us. Yeah, it's not good for the people losing their jobs. I don't, honestly, I don't give two shits if Mike loses his job, personally, right? I mean, I think, let me rephrase it. I think it's good for the company that he's gone. He's going away, but I don't personally care if he's losing his job. Like, go fuck yourself. That's what, that's what I think. And the reason I say, like, I would care if some person making $10 an hour that answered the phone I'd care if they lost their job because that sucks because now they got to go find another job and they got mouths to feed and all. This dude's got plenty of money. He wipes his ass with 20s. Ain't no fucking problem with him. Anybody that's had a vice president or president or CEO or any of that bullshit title, I don't feel sorry for you at all because in the end of the day, you are the one that's responsible for everything. And so I put you responsible for all of the shit at WoW, which I don't know personally. I just hear everybody talk about how trash retail WoW is. I hold you personally responsible for Diablo 4, for Diablo Immortal, for all this bullshit microtransaction culture that you've stood behind and said, hell yeah, 100%. While you're publicly coming out talking about, oh, this is so bad, we hate you. When, when have you publicly come out and said, we hate what we're doing to the players, we hate that we take all of y'all's fucking money and don't deliver a superior product. We hate that we've tarnished the Blizzard name. We hate that we've took a big fat Taco Bell dump diarrhea all over the Diablo franchise. Has he ever said any of that? No. So I don't feel one bit sorry for you at all. Move on. I hope you stay out of fucking gaming. I hope you don't go, look, next he'll go to Rockstar and come over here and fuck up Grand Theft Auto 6 before it's released. Watch. Rockstar say, hey, come over here real quick and fuck this up. But I think the shakeups, all bullshit aside out of my mouth, the shakeups are necessary for positive change, okay? Uh, we don't know who these layoffs are. Yeah, layoffs suck. I hate for anybody to have to lose their job. But if we want a good product to come out of Blizzard again, if we want fun to exist again, it's got to be changed. I mean, it really has to be changed. And that's what the leadership saw. And I, I will tell you right now, he got fired. He did not quit on his own accord. He got fired. This is what happens in big corporate 
entities like this, they don't just fire you. They give you an opportunity to leave, right? Right. Unless you've done something really shitty, but they don't just come out and say, you're fired. Like, that, that doesn't happen. They just say, Hey, it's not working with us. We'd like to move forward without you. We're going to give you a severance. We're going to give you this. Uh, this is your opportunity to go ahead and resign. We're asking you to resign. So that's what he did. And I've read a couple of different things say, you know, he quit, he quit. Yeah. He quit because he was asked to resign and they're not going to publicly tarnish him. But, uh, if they were happy with his performance as a leader in blizzard, he would not be leaving. He's not leaving. Y'all don't be stupid. He's not leaving because they're laying off employees. Employees are, are laying off employees in a shitty economy with high inflation and no spending is normal. It happens all the time. Go back and look at history. Layoffs happen, right? So that ain't no new news. Twitter's had layoffs. Discord's had layoffs. A um, bunch of folks have had layoffs. It's really not that big a deal. Shit happens, okay? You, you downsize to keep companies in business. Um, you don't fire or you don't lose your uh, CEO because of layoffs. He's He didn't do this as a moral, I'm going to show Microsoft. No, they asked him to leave because he sucks. And that's just all there is to it. So I see these guys down here, you know, these bootlickers. Oh, God, what in the fuck is this? Y'all, ads are taking over the world. But, you know, I'm devastated for you. Devastated, devastated. WoW has been in a better place. Has WoW been a better place? Really? Has it? Because all I hear everybody talk about is how shitty it is. Besides, you know, WoW Classic Season of Discovery. That's cool. But that wasn't Mike's idea. So what do you, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this going to be good for Blizzard? Or is Blizzard going to be in? Or do you really give a fuck at all anymore? So uh, I'm really hoping that this guy leaving, somebody with passion, leadership, knowledge, experience, balls... That's the biggest thing. Can we get a guy with balls in here that will get rid of all the communism fucking game development that's going on with everybody afraid to hurt everybody's feelings and they got to have a meeting every 10 seconds about what they're going to do? Can we just get somebody with straight up steel balls to come in here and just bull in a china shop? Stop. My mom used to call me that shit all the time. Just blast the fucking walls down and lay the foundation and say, this is what we're doing. We're making badass fucking video games. If you don't like it, tough shit, leave. You will report. You will do what I say. You will do this. And guess what? You'll get a check because it's a job. Everybody forgets that shit too. Forget to get their feelings hurt. You had a job, bitch. You're getting a check. I'm just so sick of this pussiness. But anyway, let me know what you think. Is it going to be good or bad? I think it's going to be great. I think I actually was disappointed that it took this long to have shake up. We all knew that, uh, what's his face? Uh, I didn't forget his name. Bobby by now, who gives a shit? We knew Bobby was going to go. I want to see Rod go and I wanted to see this guy go. So maybe Rod will be next. Let me know what you think below. See y'all next time.